All right, we are staying on top of breaking news for you all morning long this morning. This is a live look from Sky 5 of what's left of an apartment building in Madison after a massive fire. You can see how much damage has been done. Of course, we've been bringing you updates on this fire since it happened at about 530 this morning. We're going to go straight to News Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski, who is on the scene at the DuPont Avenue apartment, and we know at least a, of one injury, Blake. That's what we know so far this morning. Luckily, those injuries are expected to be minor. We're actually told that the resident suffered some minor burns and didn't even want to go to the hospital at first, but then later changed his mind. So not too serious, at least for that case. But what is serious is the damage to this apartment complex. You can see that roof is totally gone. And an even better look, actually, from Sky 5, who's flying above right now to give you some of these heartbreaking images this morning. So that, this is what it actually looked like earlier this morning with those active flames going. And now, luckily, crews have mostly gotten this out at this point. We do have, still have several crews on scene who are working to just make sure all of those hot spots are out uh, this morning. At this point, we are told that about 12 units have been affected by this fire this morning. And we know that that is including several different families. And that's where we also find Dan Kennedy. He's here on scene with us and he's got a little bit more details on some of those folks affected. Dan, uh, what, do we, what do we know so far? Blake, I'm on the other side of these uh, apartment units from you, so standing about 150 yards, and we have a different perspective of uh, the damage that this fire has caused. Here from the ground, in a moment, you'll see from Sky 5, as these firefighters are now inside on the first and second story of this apartment unit, working to put out some hot spots uh, and also possibly checking for any pets who may have been uh, lost inside this fire. We're going to work uh, to confirm that in a moment. Sky 5 overhead giving us an aerial view of how how much damage was caused by this early morning fire. Uh, residents say they were awoken about five o'clock. This is an older apartment unit built in the late 70s. Most of these uh, one bedroom. And we spoke with one man earlier this morning who described what it was like waking up to news that there was a fire inside his place of living. Maybe like five o'clock in the morning, I just heard a big loud knock at the door. But well, prior to that, I smelled something funny. I'm like, what's that smell? Like, I can see smoke coming out the window. I'm like, man, not today. Like, please not let this happen today. So then I opened the door of the hallway, just smoke just, whoosh, whoosh. like it was like the wind was blowing with it. So everybody was saying, it's a fire, it's a fire. People were trying, it's just picture 12, 12, fam 12 big families just all running out, trying to grab each other's stuff at the same time. Just, it's just chaos. People going this direction, people going that direction. And then like, as I'm trying to grab my son, like I had to try to grab the few things that I could grab, which is only a painting and computers. It's lost everything, clothes, food, like everything, charges. Grab my phone, I grab that. Though. 12 units displaced in this fire, a whole lot of damage, much of it done to the fire, but also in some of these units due to the water. It is a cold morning out here, and all those residents who were displaced are now being loaded onto an MTA bus uh, where they can at least stay warm for a little bit until the Red Cross can come in and assist them as they work to find some new housing after fire destroyed theirs this morning. Reporting live alongside Blake Rosnowski this morning, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. And thank you. And of course, that was a dramatic witness uh, testimony, uh, oh, yeah. an account of what happened this morning when he found out there was a fire. Yeah, and what you what do you grab in yeah. that short amount of time and, and then end up losing so much? Exactly. We're going to continue yeah. to follow this story for you this morning. We will keep those crews on the scene. And 